Good morning, everybody. My name is Christine Tradella, and I have the pleasure of leading the commercial sales teams for Meta's Reality Labs, which means I get to spend a lot of time speaking to businesses that are interested in or already using mixed reality for work. I'm delighted to have the opportunity to talk to you today about why Meta is investing in mixed reality technology, why so many organizations are embracing it, and how we're partnering with Microsoft to make these new ways of working even more compelling to companies like yours. Lastly, I'm gonna talk a little bit about our investments in security and how we're keeping both your people and your data safe and secure. Now that's a lot to cover, so let's get right into it. If there's one question I get asked a lot when I talk to companies about meta and mixed reality, it's why are you here? I don't take it personally. They mean, why is Meta interested in work? We're a consumer company, so why are we putting all this time and effort into the enterprise space? The answer is actually very simple. First off, our mission is to give people the power to build community and bring the world closer together. Why wouldn't that include our communities at work? When we spend something like 90,000 hours of our lives there, it's a really meaningful part of who we are, which means it's a meaningful part of Meta's mission. But there's a bigger answer as well. We think that the workplace is central to the future of technology. Our CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, spoke about his belief at Connect last month. He pointed out that there's always been a distinction between the real world and the digital world, as if one of these things somehow has more value than the other. But we don't see a distinction anymore because what defines our world today isn't one or the other. It's our ability to move effortlessly between the two. And the workplace is already leading the way. By 2025, 73% of the workforce will be Gen Y or younger. These employees will never have encountered a workplace that didn't have laptops, mobile devices, cloud computing, video conferencing, and the internet. They've spent their entire careers with one foot in the digital and physical world simultaneously. They switch from in-person meetings to email to VC without any conscious thought about what mode they're in or what world they're inhabiting. Even so, until now, the digital world has been something we can only touch through a screen. It's literally been kept at arm's length. With mixed reality, we're removing the screen so that the digital world, along with everything and everyone inside it, feels just as present, just as accessible, and just as right there as the physical one. But mixed reality doesn't replace the real world with the digital world. It blends them together so that we get the best of both worlds. The same is going to be true of the work tools we use. We don't think that 3D is going to replace 2D any more than our mobile screens have replaced televisions they're going to supplement and amplify them. They're going to give employees something they really care about, choice. Because when we, we want people to have the right tool for the job, whatever it is. If you wanna have a quick chat with your manager to resolve a problem, then you're probably gonna do that over VC or maybe just send them an email. If you wanna to get together with your entire team in a way that helps you feel more connected, then virtual reality is going to be the right tool to choose. If you want to hold something like a design review to understand how your new prototype interacts with the world around it, then mixed reality is the way to go. This is why we're so excited about our partnership with Microsoft. Microsoft has the world's best 2D productivity suite, and Meta makes the world's most popular 3D headsets. Bringing Microsoft's tools into Meta's mixed reality environments is an example of how we can amplify the power and effectiveness of each. That's why Mark called Microsoft a really important part of bringing VR to the workplace. And it's what Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella meant when he said that Microsoft was excited to see the digital and physical worlds coming together. I hope that helps to explain why we're so invested in both the mixed reality space and our partnership with Microsoft. Now I wanna show you what this actually looks like in practice. I've mentioned our mixed reality headsets a couple of times, for those of you who haven't seen them, this is the MetaQuest family. Our original game changer, the MetaQuest 2, is the most popular VR headset of all time. 
Last year, we released the MetaQuest Pro for teams that want to be at the cutting edge of power and performance. And this October, we released MetaQuest 3, which we think will be the headset that brings mixed reality to the mainstream. It's got 10 times more pixels than the Quest 2, 30% higher resolution, and it's 40% slimmer. Take a look. Pretty cool. And we're already seeing how MetaQuest is driving business outcomes in four really important ways. The first is learning and development. From safely simulating real-world scenarios like firefighting to surgery, to practicing soft skills like DE&I programs or compliance training. The second is creativity and design which is huge for architects, engineers, and construction companies who can now review digital twins of new buildings with their clients, or product designers who can work together in real time with 3D models and bring new innovations to life faster. The third is meetings and collaboration. This is something virtual reality is great at because it's fundamentally about bringing people together in a way that helps them feel more present with each other, thanks to innovations like spatial audio or expressive avatars. And finally, you have building community, which is really at the heart of our mission. We know that many organizations find it difficult to bring people together, whether they are looking to share information or just help new hires meet each other and get grips with the company culture. VR is a great way to do this without the cost or carbon footprint of flying people around the world. Many of these solutions come to life through our ecosystem of over 900 technology partners who build the apps and experiences in the MetaQuest store. We care about all of these partners, but as I've said, we're really here to talk about Microsoft. We knew early on that we wanted MetaQuest to be a great device for getting all of your work done. So we've been working with Microsoft for a long time to bring your favorite work apps onto our headsets to help you jumpstart your productivity in mixed reality. You already use Microsoft's tools every day. When you bring them into a headset, it enhances what you love about them. In particular, we see the value in being able to focus more deeply and connect more meaningfully in your virtual office. I wanna show you three exciting ways we're going to be able to do that. First up is Microsoft Mesh. If we're going to connect employees in a flexible hybrid workplace, we need technology that helps them feel together even when they're apart. Microsoft is reimagining the way we do this with Microsoft Mesh a three-dimensional immersive experience that can now be accessed through Microsoft Teams, the place where hundreds of millions of people already work together today, and on MetaQuest headsets. I'm excited to share that Mesh will be generally available in January of 2024. With Mesh on Quest, you're gonna be able to express yourself with personalized avatars, whether you're joining a 2D Teams meeting or a 3D immersive space, you can choose an avatar, one that you've already built or create a new one, and customize it in ways that reflect your appearance, style, or mood for the day. You can also connect in new ways in immersive spaces in Teams. The way people engage is evolving, from audio to video and now to spatial interactions. Immersive spaces make it easy for you to host a social gathering or a small roundtable discussion in a 3D space right in Teams. And with directional audio, you can host multiple small group discussions in the same place, adding familiar human elements to digital connections. Finally, you can make your own space with Mesh. Not only can you create an immersive space for social gatherings, you can tailor it to your specific business needs. This could mean employee events, training, or guided tours. You can use a no-code editor to easily customize the event or the Mesh Toolkit to leverage the power of Unity for a fully customizable, immersive experience. 
We think that Mesh on Quest is going to play a huge role in the future of digital engagement, and we're excited for you to experience it for yourself next year. Next up, we're bringing some of the best bits of the Microsoft 365 productivity suite to Quest headsets so that you can enjoy powerful 2D multitasking capabilities in VR environments. You'll be able to interact with content from Word, Excel, or PowerPoint in VR, giving you increased space, flexibility, and portability for the apps that help you accomplish your everyday tasks. So wherever you go, your office goes with you. Microsoft 365 will be available on MetaQuest by end of this year. Finally, to complete the experience, we will also be bringing Windows 365 to MetaQuest. This means that MetaQuest users will have a new way to securely stream the entire Windows experience, including their personalized apps, content, and settings on their mixed reality headset with the full power of Windows and Windows applications. This is just a taste of the great experiences that are coming to Quest headsets soon. But we also recognize that making the leap into mixed reality isn't just about having the best tech or the right tools. It's about making sure that all of our devices are work ready. And that means making sure they are secure, safe, and scalable. That's why I'm pleased to share that this month we'll be launching MetaQuest for Business, a software subscription service that gives IT admins all the controls they need to manage and deploy mixed reality devices at scale. It includes identity and access management through company-managed Meta accounts to ensure you can securely manage access to your devices. First and third-party device management which allows you to configure headsets via our admin console or through trusted partners. And app management controls that will let you deploy the right applications to the right people, including line of business or custom applications, while dedicated support ensures that you get the help when you need it. We're also releasing shared mode, which allows your MetaQuest headsets to be used by multiple people, even if they don't have a Meta account. We think it's going to be a great for learning and development. Oh, and for those of you that are wondering, yes, of course, our third-party MDM integrations will include Microsoft Intune. So companies that want to provision Quest headsets can be confident that all of the security and management options that they expect from PCs and mobile devices will carry over into mixed reality. Quest for Business is critical to our plans to unlock enterprise mixed reality at scale. But it's only one part of a much bigger story about how we keep people safe and data secure on our platforms. In addition to features like PIN requirements, two-factor authentication, malware detection, and remote wipe that admins can easily access directly through Quest for Business, we're also focused on creating a culture of security that includes things like third-party penetration testing, regular patching for hardware and firmware security, logging physical access to our facilities, as well as vulnerability testing and detailed incident response plans. And just so we're clear, Meta only uses customer data for three reasons. One, to provide and improve MetaQuest for business. Two, to promote safety, integrity, and security. And three, to comply with applicable law. We don't sell our customer data or use it for personalized advertising. It's an incredibly exciting time for mixed reality, and I hope you're excited by the lineup of Microsoft software coming this way. But I wanna leave you with a taste of even better things to come because it's not just mixed reality that's going to change the way we work. We're bringing two more critical technologies to market as they develop and get more mature are gonna be just as revolutionary. To begin with, imagine for a second a world in which all the power and potential of mixed reality that we've discussed today is available in a simple pair of glasses. Like these Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses, the kind of thing you can reach for anytime, take on and off with ease, or just wear all day. 
As this technology gets even smaller, lighter, and faster, we're going to unlock thousands of new use cases for both deskless and office-based employees. But the real superpower of these smart glasses comes from the fact that they have meta AI built into them. And that's where the potential for the future of work gets really exciting. We believe that there will be a lot of different types of AI to help us do different things. These will include fully fleshed avatars that you can interact with in mixed reality. We're already seeing these AIs and it's easy to see how they could revolutionize work. One of them, Lily, is actually an expert writer who can offer tips and advice on things like grammar, spelling, and word choice. It's like a hyper smart version of the AI prompts you currently get when using cloud collaboration software. Instead of seeing prompts on a screen, soon you could be sitting next to an AI in a virtual office while you're working on a new presentation or report. Maybe you turn to her and ask, how could I make this a bit clearer? Or maybe she turns to you and says, have you thought about adding this bit in there? Now imagine that but for any skill you can think of. Because Meta is also building an AI studio so that developers can use our technology to create their own assistance. You could be sitting in that virtual office next to a strategy expert, a scientist, or a lawyer. You could be in a manufacturing plant working on a machine alongside an AI of the engineer who designed and built it. Do you think that sounds unlikely? Well, go back 40 years and tell your mom or dad that one day they'd be able to sit in front of a screen and access all the world's information at the touch of a button. Does it seem so unlikely that one day soon we will be able to do the exact same thing simply by turning to the AI next to us and asking it, you know what our kids will say? I can't believe you actually had to ask. We have a bit more work to do before we can bring these innovations to life, but the future is coming fast. We're actively working with businesses and developers like you to understand the most exciting use cases for AI, and I'm sure we'll share a lot more on those plans as soon as we can. But I hope you'll agree that while the future looks bright, the right here and now is pretty incredible as it is. I've been in the tech industry for longer than I'd like to admit, and I honestly think this is the most exciting time I've ever known, especially for the enterprise. I know we use the word revolution a lot, but I don't know how else to describe the advances that we're making with mixed reality for work and the amazing new experiences we're bringing to organizations around the world. And I can't think of a better partner to do it with than Microsoft. Our two companies have a lot of shared history, but I think the next chapter we're writing together will be the most important one yet. Thank you so much for your time today. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, and I hope you've enjoyed this look at Meta's plans for mixed reality and our partnership with Microsoft. If you wanna learn more or get in touch with one of the team, just head over to our website at forwork.meta.com. Enjoy the rest of the sessions. Goodbye.